So we're now going to consider what the collector voltage would be under quiescent conditions. Remember that quiescent conditions mean when no signal is applied under quiet or no signal conditions. What sort of voltage would we expect to see at the collector? Now we're going to assume that this is a class A amplifier, that means the transistor is fully turned on before the signal arrives. Under those circumstances we would expect to see the collector voltage be around half of the supply voltage. So uh, with a supply voltage of 10 volts, we would hope that the uh, collector voltage was somewhere in the region of 5 volts. We want half the supply voltage because we want this to be able to swing high and low of its quiescent state as the signal comes in. So as our signal goes high and low on the input, we want to see our output signal going high and low as well. And at 5 volts, it can swing 5 volts in either direction. So it can go up a further 5, it can go down a further 5. If the quiescent voltage was high, say uh, 8 volts, then the signal could only swing 2 volts high before it hit the supply rail. Uh, it could then swing low without any problem, but it couldn't swing above 2 volts. So the sound that we get out would be very, very distorted as all of the tops would be cut off of our audio signal. So we're now going to look to see what that actually looks like on an oscilloscope. Here we can see the audio output of a Class A amplifier and you can see that the signal at the moment is undistorted. If I increase the amplitude of the input you can see it begins to distort at the bottom and at the top at pretty much the same time. So our collector voltage must be in the correct range. We're now looking at a condition where the collector voltage is too high and if I increase the amplitude you can see that the signal starts to distort at the top first. Distortion appears here first. If we set the collector voltage now so that it's too low we'll be able to see that distortion first appears at the bottom of the waveform as it hits the zero volt line.